So Scott, do you want to walk us through the evaluation stage and what usage data can do for us there? Right. So uh, like I mentioned, a lot of customers uh, will have some sort of trial version of your product, and that's because everyone likes to try before you buy, right? It's something that we've all done before, um, maybe not so much today, uh, since we're not going out as much, but um, back back uh, several months ago, we were trying on clothing to make sure it fits. Everyone likes to test drive a car to make sure the drive feels right. Uh, if you're trying on perfume, or in my case, cologne, uh, it's, you wanna test the samples to make sure it's the right scent. Uh, or even at Costco, uh, if you're not going there just to eat the food, some people actually try these products before they buy them. So customers want to do the same with your product. They want to try it on, do a trial, or have a short-term contract before they go full on uh, and buy your product. And as customers are going through this evaluation pro uh, process, any issues that they run into will hurt your chances of a customer purchasing uh, the full version. And so for your apps, this means that customer support is extremely important to ensuring your prospects uh, have a good experience. Otherwise, it may stall growth. And some stats that we've seen is that, you know, 66% of customers will stop buying uh, a product after a poor uh, interaction. Uh, or even if you're in there, 40% of, 40 of companies will avoid vendors for on average four to two years after poor support. Uh, so this can hurt you down the line. Um, and if a company switches vendors, 68% will, will not return to the previous vendor at all. So not having that experience, it can be extremely harmful. So what can you do? Uh, what can you do to deliver these amazing experiences? And one way is um, to uh, provide the support uh, as soon as issues arrive. You want these prospects to have a friction frictionless experience, so you want them to have no doubts before purchasing your product. And when your teams reach out about these uh, issues, you want them to have precise knowledge of the issue, so they're not like asking a lot of questions. They're actually getting right to the heart of it quickly, uh, and also being proactive. Uh, it's one thing to reach out and say, hey, it seems like you know you might be having trouble or you might need some assistance, instead of just waiting for the customer to get upset and then reach out to you. And so what might this look like? Uh, this is something that we've implemented here at Workado, and it's similar to the first use case uh, that Raina brought up, which is getting the product usage data right in front of the teams that need it, uh, putting it where they work. So in the first example was Slack, and here, our team uses outreach to interact with customers. So this is just a tool that allows them to communicate directly through text, uh, through, through text and um, in the app. And basically what this does is it's, um, we brought all the product usage data right into the app itself. So uh, when our customer support team is talking to a customer, they wanna know what connectors are they using? How many recipes do they have? You know, what are some of the failures that they've had? So instead of asking a lot of broad questions, they can get right and ask, you know, it looks like you might be messaging about your last failed job. Do you have any issues with this particular connector? And this gets you right to the heart of the matter faster. Uh, and what this does is it provides a better customer experience, leading to higher MPS. We've seen higher conversions and faster deal cycles. And it's really uh, one thing that we've gotten a lot of praise for is for our customer support. And in the latest Gartner Magic Quadrant, we are called out specifically for having great customer support. And one big reason is bringing that data right into this app. Awesome, thanks, Scott. Yeah, I just want to uh, also clarify, this is uh, Intercom. Uh, so. Sorry, Intercom, yeah. 